Hey guys, appreciate you guys tuning in. Uh, once again, we wanted to uh, partner with you guys as we are all trying to figure out life right now and uh, excited about getting back to the racetrack. So today we're gonna to talk about is we're gonna talk about our ethanol performance fuels. Okay, so we have a lot of major performance carburetor companies that recommend and that suggest our ethanol performance fuel products. Let me tell you why. One, they're very, very consistent, okay? Um, when you go to a regular gas station and you go get E85, one, it's made with ethanol that might not be of the purest form. Two, it's blended with regular gasoline. Uh, we have a saying here that regular gasoline is not meant to be in a race car, right? So. Uh, a lot of regular gasoline, when they're made at the refinery, some of them are made or some of the products are made with what we call refinery drippings. It's not very clean. And the other part, too, is when you go to some of these service stores and it has E85, if the ethanol is higher or lower price or gas is higher or lower price, guess what? Typically, they're going to do what's best for their back pocket. So not all the time are you going to get E85. You could go to that pump and it's say E85 and it could be E90 or it could be E75, or it could be E93. There's just so much inconsistency that you see there. And you know, if you talk to folks like Willie's Carburetors or, or, or any of the carburetor shops that are out there, uh, uh, Stealth, any of those guys, they will tell you that when they set a carburetor up from E85, it's very sensitive that the product has to be consistent on how the carburetor was tuned up, okay? So, you know, if you get your carburetor tuned for E85 and you get E85 one time and then you get E90 or then you get E78, you're going to be all over the place from a tuning uh, standpoint. You could also cause some damage there too uh, with your engines. You don't want to go lean. You go lean, that can be a big problem. So, um, here at, at Renegade Performance Fuels, we make uh, our ethanol performance fuels with the purest grade of ethanol possible. We also don't use any kind of regular gasoline. We use aromatic materials uh, with our blend. Also, you guys, uh, if you looked at our methanol segment and some of our race gas segment, we do have what we call our secret sauce in our fuels, which people will tell you when they look at their exhaust ports and their plugs. Uh, people are talking about it all across the industry of how we have some of the cleanest burning fuels. We've even had some of our competitors that are chasing our formulations and chasing our octanes, but they can never chase this additive because our additive really has nothing to do with the fuel related industry. And uh, it, it's what we hang our hat on. So we have that same additive in our ethanol uh, performance fuels. Uh, we also have an unleaded version and a leaded version. Now the leaded version is for more of the higher compression applications. Um, lead has a hard time staying totally suspense in ethanol. We have found a good way with some of our uh, uh, bonding chemicals that we use, which is a, a group of two products uh, that, that are bonded together to make that lead stay suspended in the ethanol uh, while you have it. So know this, when you use our ethanol products, you're getting a performance grade racing E85 unleaded or our what we call our E112 leaded products. Uh, they are made from the purest standpoint. They're going to be consistent and they're going to have a lubricity package and they're going to have our specialized additive package in there for your performance applications. Okay. Now I get it. You can go to the service store and you can buy or the convenience store. You can buy E85 it's going to be inconsistent. It's not going to be racing fuel. It goes back to the difference of cost savings and cost value. If you go through four drums a year, and uh, or let's say you go through 300 gallons a year, and you can save two bucks a gallon, that's $600. Well, if you have a race car, and your race car costs you, let's say, $50,000, and your motor's another $30,000, and you're racing for $5,000, $600 savings is $600 savings. It's not value that can put you in the winter circle. It's also not going to preserve your engine to make it last longer. It's also, you know, could create some issues with you having to tune your motor differently every time you go out. So from 
our staff to your staff, we just want to let you know a little bit more about our ethanol performance fuels, why they're better, why they're different, why they're unique, and why they will put you in the winner's circle and also protect your investment. Thank you guys for joining us. If you have any questions, send us an email, uh, shout at us at Facebook, share with your friends and like us. We're in this together. Look forward to getting to the racetrack very soon. Thank you guys.